guys, Zach from Kubota Lynchburg here. I wanted to talk to you guys today about the lift capacity of the LX series tractor. So a couple weeks ago I did the lift capacity of the L2501 um, and it's nice to kind of test and figure out how much exactly will a loader pick up. We know what Kubota rates these loaders at and then we want to test it kind of in the field with a new tractor directly from the factory with counter ballast on it and everything like that to test to see exactly how much it'll pick up. So today we've got the LX2610, the regular HSD version, not the SU version. Same transmission though, so we're good to go. Um, on the back we do have fluid filled tires and we do have a box blade for counterweight, counter ballast. If you want to drop that box blade for me as well. So we've got the weight on the back end so we don't pick up the back end off the ground hopefully when we're maxing out this loader. So what we're going to start with today, kind of like on the L2501, we have a pallet here with a box blade and inside the box blade on the pallet are a whole bunch of suitcase tractor weights. Um, so right now this loader is rated for about 870 pounds at 20 inches forward from the pins, 770 at 20 inches forward from the pins. So right about here where all the weights are lined up is where it's supposed to lift about 770 pounds and you can see we've got more weight forward than that so we're technically going to be more than the rated lift capacity right now total weight on this i think is right at 975 pounds at the moment with everything put in there um, and your overall lift capacity even at the pins where the pins attached to the pallet forks is only rated for 1,070 pounds. So it is rated less than the L2501, even though it has a slightly larger loader number on it, that LA535. So Chris is going to start it up here for us. He's going to try to lift it full height. We'll see. You know, we're already a couple hundred pounds more than what Kubota says is full lift capacity on it. We're going to go ahead and test it first and see if it's actually capable of lifting this before we go anywhere else today. Well, we just saw that is a lot of weight for the LX series. You might have seen in the video, the back tires actually came up off the ground once or twice doing that. So we're pushing the limits already. We knew we would be, wanted to start off this video at the higher end of things. It picked it up basically to lift capacity, although at the top we were picking the back tires up off the ground, so we set it down pretty quick. But so, you know, here's almost a thousand pounds that we can pick up a decent amount of ways off the ground. So that tells us if we're going to grab a log or a tree or a stump or a rock or even a pallet of something, we can pick up more than what Kubota rates it for. Again, I don't recommend doing this all day every day, but the capacities that are advertised by Kubota aren't always truly what it will do. They rate it on the safe side where we try to test and figure out what the not so safe or not recommended side is. Um, so again, on uneven ground, if Chris wasn't on basically level ground here with those back tires coming off the ground, that is not safe. We don't recommend it, but it'll do it. So what is our overall lift capacity just to pick it up off the ground? Let's say you get underneath a stump or a log. You just need to pick it up a foot off the ground to pick it up and move it. We're going to test that out and see what it's going to be for basically just a foot, foot and a half. So we're going to add more weight here. So I'm going to grab more weight. We'll check to see what we can pick up. All right, well, I just added 200 more pounds to it. So now we're gonna be probably about 1,175 pounds on it. And again, I put this weight at the front. Remember the rated lift capacity is towards the back, towards that pivot point, um, towards the quick attach point on it. So the further we go out, the more difficult. Chris, fire it up, let's see if it does it. All right, well, it does it. We're going to try. But me standing on it, too. All right, let's see. We're adding 175 pounds to it. No, not quite. I'm too heavy for it. So we basically can figure out 
we can basically do about probably 1,200 pounds a foot or two or three feet off the ground, even if it's pushed far out. So if you have a larger piece of equipment you're trying to pick up, a large, long log or something like that that's very heavy that you can push towards the back of those forks or towards the back of the bucket, you could definitely get more weight out of it. But seems pretty impressive. Not quite as heavy, not quite as much lift capacity as the L2501 with the LA525 loader the other day, but still pretty good for a small 25 horsepower compact tractor. Pretty impressive what it will do.